And now back to our old Nick David Harding counter spy case. Who is it? Henri. Oh, Henri, go away. I'm tired. Tomorrow. No, it must be now. Open up for it. Very well. Now, what is it, Henri? Close the door. That fellow who just left, what is his name? What did he want? He was right. You were following us. Answer me, Colette. Why should I? You're nothing but this stage loafer. What makes you so big? One name. I mention it. Armand Thibodeau. Thibodeau? Now tell me. That fellow, he was interested in the girls, Annette, Jean, Leon. Is it not so? Yes. Why? I do not know. What is his name? Pierre Raymond. What did you tell him? Nothing. I know nothing. About Annette and Jean, all right. But Leanne, what did you tell him about her? Nothing, Henri. Believe me, nothing. I will find out. Colette. Is he? I will get to them. No, no, no. Let him in. I will hide. But Henri... I said let him in. I will be in the bedroom. I told you not to come back. My cigarette case, Colette. I forgot it. I will find it for you. I will help you look. It is not here. Perhaps in the bedroom. Oh, no. I will look. No, you, you must not. It is all right, Colette. Monsieur Raymond and I have much to say to each other. Ah, Colette. And I thought he was following us. I'm very jealous. That is why I came back. We will stop playing games, Monsieur Raymond. This knife is very sharp. It would be no trouble to cut your throat. It would be a great deal of trouble to me. Why do you seek information about Armand Thibodeau? Do I? Come, come, monsieur. I am not a patient man. Then let us say I'm writing a book about Armand. He has had many books written about him. Who are you? Pierre Raymond. Who else? Your identity papers? No, no. Keep your hands out of your pocket. Then how will I get them? Raise your hands over your head. Like this? Yeah. Colette. No, no, I want nothing to do with this. I will get him myself. General, monsieur. As you wish. Keep your hands away. This knife can move very fast. All right, monsieur, but I warn you, I'm ticklish. Keep quiet. <laughs> Stop moving. I, I cannot help it. I, uh, my arm. You have killed him. It was his idea. He would have killed me. What will we do? I? Nothing. Just say good night. No, you cannot leave him here. The gendarmes, I do not want them around. You are going to call them, Colette, remember? Now they will come. I will tell them you killed him. And who will you say I am? Pierre Raymond? Are you sure? Go ahead, Colette. Tell them. But if they do not find me, they will naturally think of you. Good night, Colette. Please, you cannot leave me here with him. You must help. And if I did, would you help me? What could you do? It is not yet done. It would be a simple matter to find him a resting place in the River Seine. Oh, yeah. Well, that is it. But first you help me. Whatever you wish. Leanne de Croix. What do you know of her? Very little. Tell me it. She left Paris a, a year and a half, two years ago. Where did she go? I don't know. That is not much help to get rid of a body. You must do better than that, Colette. The last I heard, she was in Belgrade. What was she doing there? Singing at the Café Crown. That is all I know, Pierre, believe me. Her it will be done soon. All right, Colette. But if you are lying to me, Armand will not be the only name to fear. I do not lie, only get him out of here. I want no gendarme, I want no trouble. Do not fear, Colette. The River Seine will wash away all your troubles. And Andre, too. <laughs> Calling W501M. Calling W501M. Come in, W501M. Calling W501M. Calling W501M. Come in, W501M. This is W501M. 
W52ST, W501M to W52ST. We have contact. Go ahead. Here it is, Chief. If Armand Thibodeau is dead, someone's very anxious that we don't find his body. Trouble, Peters? Not too much. A man named Henri Cordeaux tried to do a little carving on me. We had a little struggle until I was able to use that technique Doc Winters taught us. You know, where the main artery of the neck divides? Oh, you mean pressure on the carotid sinus? That's it. I remember the doc told us it would cause unconsciousness, and it did. Cordeau just lay on the floor as if he were dead. And a good thing, too, because I had to impress a girl named Colette. She thinks I had dumped Cordeau into the scene. I just took him out of sight, and when he started coming around, I beat it. Better keep an eye out for him, Peters. Remember, you've got no official standing in this case. Now, this Colette, what about her? She gave me a lead on one of Armand's flames, Leanne Ducroix. What about the other two girls? One's dead, the other's in prison as a collaborator. Leanne was last heard of in Belgrade. I'm leaving for there on the Orient Express inside of an hour. Is that the works? Complete. You can pick it up from there, Chief, if anything should happen to me. How are you doing? No action, but some information. Now get this, in case I should get tangled up. There's a colored piano player at the Three Nations Bar just on the outskirts of Istanbul. His name's Bamboo Jones. Thibodeau was one of his fans. I'm going out there tonight to have a fling at their gambling rooms and some conversation with Jones. That's all I've got. Okay, Chief. I got it. You'll establish radio contact from Belgrade. Right. Same time tomorrow morning. Remember, we've only got four more days in which to work, and anything goes, Peters. Anything. W501 signing off. W501M signing off. Strictly from Memphis. How are you, Mr. Gambling Man? How'd you do back in them rooms? So so. I don't go for fancy games. Poker's my style. They play that sometimes? You let me know when. Sure thing. Tell me something, Bamboo. Hmm? You know uh, blues in C sharp minor? That's low down. Melancholy. You like that? Yeah. Another fella did too. Long time ago. American? No. He wasn't nothing. Sort of above having a country. <laughs> kind of like me, come to think of it. How'd you get over here, Bamboo? Bad. Yeah, good as any other place for a guy like me. Ever get lonely for the States? Sometimes I does, Mr. Gambling Man. I get a yearning to go back. Then I, I remember I'm just... Well... Then the urine goes away. I get you. Play me some blues for luck. Then I'll take another crack at that wheel. Sure thing. How about... Uh-oh, no can do. Time for Charlene's number pretty soon. I got a company here. Charlene. Here she comes now, Mr. Gamlin, man. Real class. You bet. Expensive. I might be lucky. How's about introducing me? Why not? Charlene. What is it, Bamboo? I want you to meet a friend of mine. You know I'm not in the habit oh, of... Oh, skip it for once. He's a yank like me. This is Tex Dover. A gambling man, Charlene. Like you You talk are... too much, Bamboo. Yeah. I got a free wheel and tongue. Have a drink? I... I don't bite. Uh, well, all right. But just one. Now, now <laughs> we're all friendly. Play something, Bamboo. Sure. And I'll have a scotch and beer. You've been working here long? All my life. Oh? Well, in places like this, I mean. Kind of like old times, ain't it, Charlene? Bamboo. Me plain, you talking to a gambling man? Yeah, really like old times. Your man was a gambler? Bamboo is a sentimentalist. I've known many men. But none like him. Big gambler? Biggest it was. I must go now, Mr. Dover. Our man Thibodeau? What's the matter? 
You curious or just asking? Asking? Don't, Mr. Dover. It's not a healthy name to mention. Well, why not? He's dead, isn't he? Some says he is. Some says he isn't. Bamboo. And he can't hurt you when he can't hear you? He had a thousand ears in every city of the world. Looks like I started something. Why did you ask about him? Why, just because... A gentleman is annoying you, Madame Charlotte. What the... Who are you? Who asked you to butt in? What's out there, gambling man? I am Saidu. It's all right, Saidu. It is time for you to leave, Charlene. The lady will go when she wants to. Allah has written her destiny. She will go now. Listen, I... Easy does it, gambling man. Please, no trouble. It was nice to have met you, Mr. Dover. Goodbye. But... Come, Saidu. Yes, madame. You want to talk easy. I don't get it. You would have, from Saidu. He's a handy man with a blade. Who is he? What's the pitch? Who can tell? He might be one of those thousand years in every city in the world. Come in, W-52-ST. Come in, W-52-ST. We have contact, Chief. Go ahead. Find anything out about the girl, Leon Peters? Only that she left Bucharest about nine months ago for Istanbul. Istanbul? Right. She may be there now. You know what she looks like? I've got a fairly bad idea, but... What do you mean? All her pictures here in Belgrade seem to have vanished. But I dug up an old newspaper clipping in the files of the Belgrade press. Did you get it? Good. I think I may know her myself. You have a lead? We'll know when you get here for the identification. I'm taking the Orient Express, Chief, arriving in Istanbul at 9 p.m. And I have a suspicion my friend's aboard. Who's that? The chap I throttled back in Paris. Henri Cordeaux. Have all the passengers debarked? Oh, yes, monsieur. Oh. You are expecting someone here in Istanbul? Pierre Raymond. Was he on the train? Oh, Raymond. Yes, what's the matter? I am sorry, monsieur. There was an accident just after the train left Belgrade. Pierre Raymond was killed. David Harding will be back with more about our case in just a moment. But now here's Sally with the famous Bitter Honey song. Yes, Bitter Honey Candy Bar, tender, chewy candy with a mild honey flavor mixed through and through with crunchy toasted almonds. And remember, Bitter Honey Candy Bar has distinctive, zesty flavor that's a refreshing change. Ask for Bitter Honey Candy Bar, a favorite of millions for over a quarter century. Harding, counter-spy, calling Washington. Harding, counter-spy, calling Washington. Go ahead, Mr. Harding. We are recording. Search for Armand Thibodeau continues. Have some leads, but may need additional agents to replace Harry Peters, who was killed in line of duty. Will wire full report in code. I'm remaining on this case until Thibodeau is located. That is all. Be sure to tune in again next Sunday, October 5th, as the case of the Continental Chase reaches a thrilling climax on David Harding, Counter Spy.
Leading roles in tonight's dramatization were played by Don McLaughlin and Mandel Kramer. David Harding Counterspy is a Phillips H. Lord production for the makers of Bitter Honey and Old Nick Candy Bars. 29.35. 29.35. 